Hi, uh, I get this question often asked as to which branch of engineering should I choose. Now if you are planning to do engineering and you are in the 12th uh, standard and uh, thinking of uh, pursuing engineering as a career, I would like to tell you that you know engineering as a field has a lot of scope but if you are looking at the opportunity and the uh, placement uh, scenario then definitely it is the computer science and the information science branch which has the maximum opp opportunity. But you should never make a decision based on the opportunity alone. It is most important that you choose what is inter interesting for you, what is your uh, attitude, aptitude, uh, uh, what's your passion and what you really like. Because uh, this one decision will change the whole course of your life. Engineering is a four year course and what you do in this four years will determine what you will be doing in the next 40 years. So choose uh, IT that is computer science and information science only if you are interested not because it's got a lot of opportunity but uh, I today's uh, uh, to, to, today I would like to st uh, stress that it is still the computer science and the information science uh, branch that gets the maximum job opportunity and one thing which uh, people do not know students do not know is uh, that uh, information science is the same as computer science many a times they take uh, admissions in a college and the computer science uh, uh, course gets filled very soon uh, but then there is also IT information technology or information science which is there in, uh, as a branch in most of the colleges and uh, uh, the seats are there and uh, the, the, they practically study the same subjects but uh, since the awareness is less a lot of people do not choose I IS and then they choose something else. So if you are interested in IT then I think you can opt for computer science or information science and the companies do not distinguish between either of the two branches and uh, most of the opportunity is there with the mass recruiters so you will have the Infosys, TCS, Wipro, Cognizant all these uh, mass recruiters coming and uh, taking you up and the average package hovers around 3.5 lakh. I have already done a video regarding the packages. You also have your core companies which come and the core companies could pay anywhere between 4 to uh, and, the, and it could go on till 20-25 lakhs you know. So if you are really good in uh, your coding skills and your fundamentals you can end up with a very high package. And uh, another thing uh, to keep in mind is if you are uh, planning to choose electronics and communication or Tripoli, 90% uh, of the chance you will end up in IT sector. And so in case you are uh, um, choosing this branch, please uh, prepare for the IT sector also because like I said, most of the companies will, uh, IT companies only will come and uh, take you and there are very few core uh, EC branches and Tripoli branches, you know, so only 10% maybe would get into that, 90% will end up over here. And a lot of students do not uh, get into the IT sector just because they are not prepared well and the excuse that they give is I am an uh, ENC student so I do not know this. Uh, please do not do that because if you know that this is going to happen to you they are going to ask the same question why not prepare well and this is what you have already studied in the first year and uh, some of the subjects could be taught as an elective in the college and I will do a separate video on what the ENC students need to prepare. Uh, but uh, as of now I just want to tell you is almost the same things are going to be asked and you should be good in at least one of the language either C or C++ uh, or Java. Uh, one subject thorough knowledge, knowledge is really definitely helpful and uh, most of the time like I said your EC branches, branch questions may not be asked though there could be a little bit of uh, you know questions based on your fundamentals of your uh, this thing but IT is what you should be uh, preparing and if your college is not teaching you these subjects then you can go outside there are a lot of training institutes there are a lot of online courses and I think you should be um, studying on the studying that and um, if you are a mechanical or civil or any other branch then uh, the chances of uh, companies recruiting you is not as high but still there are a lot of companies which come for these particular branches. So if you are, patch, if you are passionate in your particular field I am sure if you choose a good college you will have enough of companies but uh, especially for when I am talking about mechanical, uh, mechanical what I would like to, uh, like to tell is since manufacturing in India is not doing extremely well the number of openings could not be as high so you have to really prepare extremely well because the requirement is only one or two students. Uh, so you may have to be the best in your particular branch in order to crack it and not only your, your fundamentals you also have to be good in your aptitude uh, 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 and uh, your project skill are also equally important and the communication skills. So whichever branch you choose um, uh, you should be very good in that particular branch in order to get a job and uh, please choose a branch according to your interest and not only on the job opportunities but uh, to summarize I would still say that IT is the sector that is still leading and then comes the other branches but if you are good and if you are passionate and if you are ready to work hard, I am sure you will be a success in any of the branch. Till we meet again, bye.